Hello YouTube, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to a brand new campaign on my channel. We are starting a new campaign with Total War Tiller. We're going to be playing the grand campaign as Axum, the Axumite Empire. So I picked this campaign because I've never played them before. I've always been intrigued. Oh my god, what does, what's that lion doing? <laughs> that lion is just having a spasm on my screen right now. What a way to start this series. <laughs> Oh my god, look at him! Look at him go! Anyway, um, Toby the Lion here is playing up. Um, totally interrupted my intro. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Um, I've been interested in playing an Axum campaign. The Axumite Empire is quite interesting to read about. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've only ever read about it on Wikipedia. <laughs> so yeah, shout to me in the comment section as you want to. Oh my god, that thing is so off-putting. Um, but I'm interested in the start and location. They are, you know, they're not really bordered. They're not really bordered there and across the sea. They've got a nice sort of start and location away from all the other barbarian tribes and stuff. They have an interesting selection of units. Um, I'm not going to read all this here because you've probably read this before. They're a desert kingdom, so sun scorched. They get plus two sanitation all regions. They're immune to desert attrition. Scourge of the desert, so plus 15 melee attack during desert battles. That's really powerful, that is. Fractured face, increased public order penalty for religious differences between new religions, faction wide. So, gotta be wary of that. And gateway to the east is the faction trait, so you supply network, you get plus 30 food from each active trade route, plus 100 merchant guard. Uh, so replenishment to the mercenary pool and plus 10 percent from trading come I can't stop laughing at that lion I'm just gonna start the campaign guys we'll actually get into it now that lion's gonna make me laugh too much otherwise and this isn't a comedic uh, campaign although it may well turn out to be a comedic campaign now I, I was actually hoping to do total war uh, well Napoleon total war with the Greece Darth mod campaign but unfortunately um, I've had corruption with the save file and it's actually when I load the campaign up, it keeps crashing on me. So I'm not going to be able to do that campaign. So this campaign is going to be replacing that campaign. I was half tempted to do this in a Warhammer campaign. But I'll just bring this one forward now and do this one instead. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy the campaign, by all means drop a like on the video and the series. In the description below is a list of mods that I am using. You can probably tell from that opening screen there that I've got the black and gold UI mod. I'm also using the same camera mods that I used in my Duchy of Croatia campaign as well. So you'll see quite a lot of um, familiar mods as well. I've got the water mod as well in this campaign. I've also got the influential leader mod as well, which is important in my opinion because the leader's bonuses and stuff are ridiculous in this campaign. Um, the influential leader mod will give them plus 2 to 11 influence per turn, depending on where they sit. That way then you've got diplomats and, you know, uh, not diplomats, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, administrators and stuff getting more influential so easily over your leader so I think it's important for better balancing okay so here we start for many centuries your empire has flourished away from civilization as the last great African kingdom now however the value of the Indian spice route has been truly realized thrusting you into the limelight at last predictably Rome courts you as an ally pointing to your shared Christianity and the looming threat of the Himyarites across the water. You may rely on Roman support to cross the Red Sea and monopolize trade with the East, or you may reject their advances, turning back to the pagan roots that once sustained your kingdom. Perhaps then, you could unite with other kingdoms in the region to drive the Romans from African shores once and for all. Your choice will shape your kingdom. Make it well. Okay, so there we go. Empires of Sand. I love the UI mod. Black and gold. I think it suits this faction to have a black and gold UI mod, so that's what we're going for with this. Nice little opening for there. So, new religions. This is a time of radical religious change. Nations abandon old traditions and forge new paths almost overnight. Split religious chains allow you to exert much greater control in that area essential if you wish to access religion specific buildings units quickly. okay so it's all on there i can read all of that uh, you get the idea i got a mission issue chapter one preparation they made ready for war so we've got to basically survive until spring 400 we get 2000 in the treasury that's easily doable if we don't do that then obviously this is going to be a crap campaign 
we start off with two settlements then. We have Axum itself and we have Adulis. Public order's on the way down already, so we have to work on that. We got 4,000 to spend, we're getting 1,700 a turn. My first target's going to be Himya, I think. We're going to go straight for them. They have uh, Udaemon and Zafar, which I think is up there. Zafar is going to be the big settlement to take. So that'll be two part portions of Arabia Felix, and we already own two of Ethiopia. I'm thinking we'll probably take the third one as well, which um, are up here, Pachoras. That'll be uh, interesting there. So let's work on what we're going to build up first. Then. We're not going to work on our forces too much. Um, what can we build and whatnot? Axumite Monk's Quarters. We'll lose food, but we get public order and religious influence for the Christianity. That is important, I think. We can get a hunting lodge for resource production and swallow. We can upgrade the hamlet straight away to a village. We get better garrison, which I'm obviously interested in because I want to get the uh, public order going. I get more deployables and stuff as well. Oriental docks, I can go for an oriental harbour. I get squalor and public order going uh, down, unfortunately, but I get better road development. I get some garrison and some wealth. Resource production for spices, which is important for this campaign as well. So there's a few things I can do early on. I can also uh, build up on the undeveloped land here and put something in there. I'm not going to do that just yet, though, at the list. First things first, what do I want to increase? Well, let us take our army out first. We've got the Merchants of Death and we got our leader, Eon, Bissi, and App. We've got Tor Warriors, Afar Swordsmen, Desert Bowmen, Desert Hurlers, Afar Camel Riders. The infantry are quite strong in this, I remember. I think it's the... Is it the Swordsmen? We want to get some Afar Swordsmen, I think. Not too bad. Melee Attack is 62. That's pretty decent when compared to the Spear, which only got 29. Uh, I think then i have just trying to work out what's best. Yeah, Swordsmen are quite... Well, they're not... They are quite expensive, I guess, compared to the others, but... We'll probably get a few of them. Actually, yeah, should we get a full stack straight away? Maybe not. We would have to go through a duelist. Let's go to a duelist with the army then. Because we're going to have to go from that port to get to your daemon anyway. That'll be our first target. We're not going to go north just yet. We're going go to go uh, east first. Um, what to build up with what I've got. Let's just check our technology first then. Research rates. 100 infantry quarters. Get desert spears. Replaces the levy. Seems like a good start. Replace our levy because our levies are crap, let's be honest. We don't want desert levies. Yeah, we get proper spears. Levies can uh, replace them. Right, I'm thinking um, diplomacy, first of all. What we got? Nobatea. I want to take Nobatea. We are trading with them already. Can I just get money off them for no reason, I wonder? Yeah, I like doing that with factions. Just casually get money off them. Give me an extra 300 to work with this turn. Right. Uh, with that being said, if I upgrade that as 3,600, I'd have 700 left. I can't do anything with that. So let's not do that just yet. I'll try and squeeze as much out of this as I can. 400, 4,000, 3,000. So 3,000 would be the best. If I go with the docks, I get the spices. I've got 1,300 left to spend. So we'll go with the spices at the Dulles first then. Make our level 2 build. We've already got a level 2 build with the camel hood. Um, let's just look at the um, building chain. So yeah, that's the only... And oh, we can get a Watt farm as well. Public order takes a bashing though. That's just farming. Religious building is going to be interesting. Sanitation is going to be interesting. We've got a lot to work with with this. i got to try and work out the best build for this uh, faction before I sort of expand whatnot. Okay, Swordsman we agreed would be the best. So let's fill up this with swordsmen then. Uh, what's crap here? We think the spears are crapped up with the tall warriors. I could chuck them away though in the next battle or in the first battle of this campaign. That would be the best thing to do with them, I would think. We've got spices here, you see, uh, as a resource, which is quite valuable. I want to take your daemon. Can I actually recruit any agents straight off the bat? I don't think I, oh, I can actually. Nizana, what's he? Don't have, I can't afford it this turn now because of what I'm building. With well, that being said, do I need to spend all this? Have I got an agent instead. I can get mercenaries when I get mercenary desert legionaries and, and get an onager if I want to. I'm not going to bother with that just yet though. Uh, Adulis. Yeah, uh, okay, so 
Encourage dissent action public order. We're gonna get the money anyway, so uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Let's just get the uh, a far swordsman. We get over a thousand next turn anyway, so we can get that agent next turn if we need to. We can obviously expand this. I'm gonna expand it just yet though. Uh, get three units there, and I get a ship as a garrison, and Axum itself gets three units and a bastion onager. All right, so that's cool. Uh, let's look at my faction then. We've got stuff to put in here, offices and whatnot. Ethiopia itself needs uh, someone. We've got two statesmen, Letim and Datwanas. You're 21 and you're 39. Let's go for 29. Let's go with him. You can be the governor of Ethiopia in that case. Uh, and then we've got commanders and shit here then. Uh, at the moment, I've only got my faction leader as a... Somebody, let him can be master of the guard. Oh my god, personal influence, morale, armor. That's really insane. Let him is going to be our our next kind of uh, general, I guess. So we'll, we'll recruit him as a general. And the rest I can't do anything with. Okay, so that's good. So if I go to Axum now, raise a force. I can get let him. He's a relentless attacker as well. Morale, plus three morale when attacking. He's actually going to be pretty useful. I stick him in there. He actually balances the public order for me. And I could just get some Desert Hurlers or Bowmen. Uh, what's the difference? Literally exactly the same, except that Desert Hurlers. <laughs> There's no point getting bow uh, Bowmen if you look at this, because their stats are exactly the same apart from the missile damage, which is better. And they've also got an excellent rate of fire. So we should, we should just get a Desert Hurler unit for now then. Just spend everything we've got so far. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have an army to go to Adulis to go then to Pachoras, and then you're going to go across to your Daemon. That's going to be our opening move there, guys. Um, yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Right, we're mustering, that's good. Just check diplomacy. I don't think there's anything else I could do. We've got the Eastern Romans. Very strong Eastern Romans. We are going on aggression pact with them. I kind of, because I've got to be wary of the Sassanids, uh, which are over here. Assassins and the Eastern Romans are the two sort of big factions. I'm thinking though, because we have to fight the Romans here, won't we, if we do go against the Romans, which might not be the best of ideas. That being said, the Romans are at war with a few of the Tanakids, uh, the Huns, the Alans, and the Visigoths. So they are fighting on a few fronts, with that being said, so maybe we will. All we've got is trade with Nobatea for now. Or Nobatea. Okay, that's a good first turn, I think. Um, yeah, we'll end that. Oh yeah, we've got to issue the uh, thing here, haven't we? So, what can we get? Where's influence? Promise of each region. Local province. Capacity. Wealth. Wealth is useful, but we lose state religion. Recruitment cost. Can we recruitment cost for now, I think? We are recruiting. We'll do that. We'll change that probably at a later date. That's our first turn done, so pretty good so far. Obviously, we've got some ground to cover. That army is going to go straight over there now, though. 17 units in the army. I think I'll probably be enough to attack our first settlement. I'm thinking probably an amphibious assault. Maybe go from the water in. And then attack him from there. Alright. Uh, balance power 50. Dominion. Influence. Latem loses that, but he gets appointed. I want him to be appointed, so that's why. The spice must flow, part one. A mission must soon be issued. Lovely. And the edict's been issued. So we'll get a mission for the spice uh, soon. I've right, got over a thousand to spend. I can't spend on any buildings yet, though. Okay, I want to pop you in the water. And you can go as far as there. I should probably build up a navy as well at some point, but for now, I'm confident with 17 units here. We can go as far as there. We will be looking to attack your daemon very soon. I'm going to go to war with him yeah, straight away. Uh, I could build something here, actually, like a level 1 building or something, I think. A duelist. Should we do that? Yeah, we can actually build something here. What are we missing though? A duelist. The next thing I can get from here. Levy camp, tribesmen. Axemite minus Delai field. Public order would go up, food would go up, religious influence would go up for Semitic paganism. Axemite desert hermitage. Local industry. I like wealth. A well for sanitation, public order, and growth. A well is actually useful. I've already got one green building here with the camel herd, though. I don't want to have too much of the same, do I? Town Commons, Levy Camp, I don't really need that, do I? Uh, I don't really know what to go for. I'm thinking perhaps the well. Get the well. Sanitation's always good. 
Okay, you can now go to Adulis, because that's where I want you to be dwelling. You're going to be a quite a good general for me, let him is. The Desert Dread. We're going to name, rename your army, because that's a sh stupid name. We'll call it the Dragon's Dread. The Dragon's Dread, there we go. New, new name there. What's the army name here? The Merchants of Death. That's just silly. How about, can I fit the name Dragon in? The Merchants of Dragon. The Merchants of Dragon. Yep, here we go. We'll just rename them. Why not? May as well. Okay, so you're now... Oh, why are you in the ship? I don't want you in the ship. We actually, there we go. Um, I think we agreed the Desert Hurlers are the best. I'm just going to get a bunch of Hurlers for now. I can actually get... So I can get five. I can spend all my money on just a bunch of Hurlers. Spam the Hurlers. That'll probably be enough as well. Six Hurlers will, will definitely be enough for you. One more turn for the well, three more for the Oriental Harbour, so we're quite happy with that. Right, um, we haven't discovered anybody else. Oh, I could have got the agent, didn't get the agent today. Okay, let's just get rid of you for a moment. Okay, right, I wouldn't have enough anyway. Can build in that building, so we just go with the hurlers. The five hurlers will be enough for me there. Uh, end turn again, so we are making our way to Udaemon slowly. We will be attacking them very soon. Which shall be very good. Okay, Tanakids, Sassanids, Eastern Romans. Uh, of course, got the Western Roman Empire in this campaign as well. There's so many factions in Attila. You you really gotta like look, go through the list like that just to sort of see it. Control two or more spice resources. Uh, you, I unlock the Oriental port and I get new units unlocked as well. Control two or more. Uh, I can't remember which one has spice. Uh, can I tell from this? I'm trying to think. I can't be asked to look. <laughs> I don't moment when Dragon Hard just can't be asked to look. Uh, see, public was on the way down. Don't like that. We have, we've got the ability now to get desert uh, spears. I could go for recruitment cost for cavalry or enable the building of an armor, a carpenter, and a blacksmith. Probably the armor would be a good one to go for. Noble estate. I'm going to go military-wise, I th no, or should I go for economy? Wealth from agricultural buildings will go up for some of these. Let's get that next, only two turns, then maybe I'll go for sheep pens. Just looking at what I can get. Don't want to overstretch too much with this army. Now I can get desert spears, which is actually better. And they got uh, better stats, so we will now get uh, three of them in your army. Okay, you need to come around here. I want to see what they got. There we go. Right, they got an army there. Desert Winds. Two. And I imagine your Daemon's probably got something like four. So we're talking four, five, six, seven units. Who are they at war with or anything? Here we are. Let us just get into range in case we discover anybody up here. Right, we declare war because we, we are committed to this now. Let's actually get onto the land first, though. Can't afford anybody else. The problem is now, I, I, I don't think I've got enough movement to actually attack them. We've used up our movement points. So we'll just sit there for now. Looking pretty. We will be attacking them next turn. Now, that being said, they could attack me now. I should have just attacked them straight off. I made a mistake there. Not a big mistake, though. It's, it's totally fine. I just want to take some money away from that, just to see if I can get mercenaries. I can, I get camels. I don't see the point though, I think i got enough. We need the troops over here anyway, so let's just get your spears. Okay, that'll be enough for that turn. It's going to be a few turns of me just sort of going through uh, the economy, making a slow build. We're going to consolidate your daemon and then move north then to their other province. Oh, they've actually buggered off. They've left your daemon undefended, I think. That is a big error. That is a massive error by... Uh, by him, yeah. So we may be in here. Okay, Gaetulians. Yeah, so many, so many factions are very similar in this game as well. The Gallimantians and the Eastern Roman Empire are at war. Okay. Uh, well, they've actually buggered off, so we can actually attack these. Declare war. It's very simple. I'm gonna auto resolve this, guys, because look at the balance power. It's an auto resolve. Be aggressive as well. 
Oh, right in the face. <laughs> right in the face. Right in the face. I lost about 100 or so, and I'm gonna, I could sack it, but I'm gonna occupy this. I could raise it to the ground. I get a little bit of money from it. And I lose integrity and fertility. I'm gonna occupy it. I wanna hold it and level up and whatnot. Okay, so let's just, um, my general's leveled up. So he's gonna have morale versus eastern empires. That's good. And get public order local province, which I think is gonna be useful. I can get to the next level, or I can go for campaign map movement. I'm going to get the public order up because we've now taken a new settlement. I want to try and consolidate this early on. We can repair the hamlet for now. We can repair the jetty. And we can repair the wheat fields. That being said, do I need wheat fields here? Probably not. I'd rather convert this into something else. We have to repair it first before I can convert it anyway. We call it Ghost Desert Spears, which I think we will need. So we'll get one Desert Spear unit. We can replenish here for two. We've got 18 units. We're going to need them to fight so far. Actually, with that being said, probably a two-pronged attack would be wise. Uh, actually, I can't go up here. My turns would take me. I'll just go into the sea with you. <laughs> my slingers. My slinger spam. The public order can survive here for a few turns anyway, so it's not a big issue. And we're going to reinforce and have a two-pronged attack at Safar. Anyway, guys, this will be a good place to end the first episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you have, by all means, drop a like on the video. It would be awesome. And yeah, I've been Drowned Heart Prince of Wales. Until next time, goodbye.